Welcome to the small shed. Today we're going to be looking at my butt. For those of you that are worried we're talking about water butts here, um, when I built the shed I decided that it was wise to get the water off the roof and into guttering um, and I hadn't got a convenient dra drain anywhere nearby so I've decided to go with a water butt which would help feed water to the adjacent greenhouse. Now one of the problems I've had is that it's been ruined by its own success um, and it's filling up too quickly so we'll go and have a look and see what we can do about it. This is the butt itself um, the intention is to run an overflow pipe down the side of the uh, butt along the underneath past the existing bins and into the front border. Unfortunately just after I installed the butt we had one of the worst thunderstorms in several years which dropped about a month's water in a couple of hours. And there's a border in front of the shed which falls slightly down towards the patio where there's two tons of hardcore underneath as a soak away. The butt itself has got an outlet boss ready just to be drilled out for an overflow. So I've gathered together the things that I think I need. Uh, I've got some two three, two, three meter lengths of overflow pipe from uh, Screwfix, our local sort of do-it-yourself supply place that's uh, just round the corner. One pound fifty, dollar and a half or whatever, so that, that's very little cost on that, about three pounds. Um, some elbows that I think I'll need. I went in the garage and found out um, that in amongst my box of bits that I've had since I extended the house in the late 1980s, so it's not that I'm a hoarder or anything, I've got um, an overflow fitting that should screw into the tank. Uh, I found a couple of manky old washers that I think should just about fit and, and seal it. And a box of appropriate sized drill bits so really difficult it shouldn't be a difficult job let's uh, go out and have a go and the first task is to drain the butt down to a level so that I can actually uh, get it to work inside it uh, after that it's a simple matter to drill a hole with a core drill and fit the uh, adapter from the inside it just screws in. I was going to put some um, mastic around it but it, it's proved that with a couple of washers that's plenty enough to, to do the job. Unfortunately, if the down pipe is put facing downwards, it sticks out at an angle, so that's had to be reversed to go towards the shed and a quick uh, right angle inserted there to keep things square and level. Uh, then the pipes are cut to length and they'll just be clipped to the outside of the shed. Thank you. 
And it's at this stage that I start to make something relatively easy into something a bit more complicated for its own sake. Holes were drilled into a piece of pipe just to test out the theory for um, effectively using the bar uh, as a sprinkler bar. I was afraid that I'd have to have larger holes at one end than the other to get the pressure right, but it seemed to work perfectly adequately just with the quarter inch holes in. On the existing water butt, I'd painted the um, overflow pipes to blend in, so in this instance I found some plastic primer and a coat of olive, uh, some olive green paint that I had and uh, gave it a quick coat just to uh, blend it in a bit with the background. Uh, stark white pipework looks uh, a little bit noticeable so I just tried to, uh, to lose it in the background. And with that it was a fairly simple matter just to put it all back together. It now blends in and works very nicely. Water in the bed if needed. And it certainly provides a good overflow now that uh, stops the back of the shed getting damaged. Well I hope that was of interest. That should help at least keep the uh, shed from deteriorating too much in the next uh, 20 years or so but I probably won't be around to see it so uh, never mind about that let's uh, hope we can see you all on the next video bye now